Platinum is a precious metal that has many applications, but one of its most important uses is in catalytic converters. A catalytic converter is a device that reduces harmful emissions from cars by converting them into less harmful substances. In this section, we will explain how platinum is used in catalytic converters and why it is so valuable. A catalytic converter consists of a metal casing that contains a ceramic or metal honeycomb structure coated with platinum and other metals, such as palladium and rhodium. These metals are called catalysts because they speed up chemical reactions without being consumed themselves. The catalytic converter is installed in the exhaust system of a car, where it receives the exhaust gases from the engine. The exhaust gases contain several pollutants that are harmful to the environment and human health such as carbon monoxide, CO, hydrocarbons, HC, and nitrogen oxides, NOx. These pollutants are produced by incomplete combustion of the fuel in the engine, which can vary depending on the air-to-fuel ratio and the driving conditions. The catalytic converter reduces these pollutants by using different types of reactions, oxidation. This reaction adds oxygen to the pollutants and converts them into less harmful substances. For example, CO is oxidized to CO2 and HC is oxidized to CO2 and H2O. Platinum and palladium are the main catalysts for this reaction. Reduction. This reaction removes oxygen from the pollutants and converts them into less harmful substances. For example, NOx is reduced to N2 and O2. Rhodium is the main catalyst for this reaction. The catalytic converter can perform both oxidation and reduction reactions simultaneously by using different parts of the honeycomb structure. The part that receives the exhaust gases first is called the reduction catalyst, where NOx is reduced by rhodium. The part that receives the exhaust gases later is called the oxidation catalyst, where CO and HC are oxidized by platinum and palladium. The catalytic converter can reduce up to 90% of the harmful emissions from cars making it a vital component for meeting the clean air laws and regulations. However, it also faces some challenges and limitations, such as temperature. The catalytic converter needs to reach a certain temperature, around 300 degrees Celsius, to start working effectively. This means that it is less efficient during cold starts or short trips. Poisoning the catalytic converter can be damaged by some substances that reduce its activity or block its pores, such as lead, sulfur, phosphorus, silicon, or oil. These substances can come from low-quality fuel, additives, oil leaks, or engine wear. Theft. The catalytic converter contains several hundred dollars worth of platinum, palladium, and rhodium, which makes it a target for thieves who want to sell them for scrap. SUVs and trucks are especially vulnerable because they have higher ground clearance and easier access to the exhaust system. Platinum is a key element of catalytic converters because it has high catalytic activity, high resistance to corrosion, and high melting point. However, it is also very rare and expensive, which makes it a challenge for the automotive industry to balance between performance, cost, and sustainability. Therefore, Researchers are constantly looking for ways to improve the efficiency of platinum catalysts, reduce their amount or replace them with cheaper alternatives, or recycle them from old catalytic converters. Platinum is a precious metal that is widely used in the car industry, especially in catalytic converters that reduce harmful emissions from combustion engines. However, the global demand for platinum has outstripped the supply due to several factors that have disrupted the mining and refining of this metal. One of the main factors is the chip shortage that has affected the auto industry since last year. The chip shortage is caused by a combination of increased demand for electronic devices during the pandemic, supply chain disruptions due to lockdowns and trade tensions, and natural disasters such as fires and floods that have damaged chip factories. The chip shortage has forced many car makers to cut production or delay new models reducing their need for platinum and other metals used in catalytic converters. According to Reuters, analysts and traders have sharply lowered their price forecasts for platinum and palladium, another metal used in catalytic converters, after the chip shortage worsened over the summer and is expected to continue through next year. 
platinum prices have dropped from a seven-year high of $1,336.50 an ounce in February to as low as $901.30, while palladium prices have plunged from an all-time peak above $3,000 an ounce in May to as low as $1,841.93. Another factor that has contributed to the platinum shortage is the environmental regulations that have tightened emission standards for vehicles around the world. These regulations have increased the demand for platinum and other metals that can reduce pollutants such as nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter. For example, China, which is the largest car market in the world, has implemented the China Six Emissions Standards since 2020 which requires more platinum per vehicle than the previous standard. However, meeting these regulations has also posed challenges for the platinum supply chain, as most of the platinum comes from South Africa, which accounts for about 70% of the global production. South Africa has faced several issues that have hampered its mining and refining operations, such as labor disputes, power outages, safety concerns, and political instability. Moreover, South Africa has also been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, which has disrupted its exports and logistics. According to CME Group, a leading derivatives marketplace, South African platinum production fell by 21% in 2020 compared to 2019, while global platinum demand fell by only 7%. This resulted in a supply deficit of about 1 million ounces of platinum in 2020, which was partly offset by recycling and stockpiling. However, CME Group expects the supply deficit to widen further in 2021 and 2022, as demand recovers faster than supply. In conclusion, the global demand for platinum has outstripped the supply due to mining disruptions and environmental regulations that have affected the car industry. This has created a shortage of platinum that could boost car industry profits if they can pass on the higher costs of catalytic converters to consumers or find alternative solutions such as using more electric vehicles or hydrogen fuel cells that require less or no platinum. How car manufacturers can benefit from higher platinum prices by increasing their efficiency, innovation and customer loyalty platinum is a precious metal that is used in catalytic converters which are devices that reduce harmful emissions from vehicle exhausts. Platinum is also used in fuel cells, which are a clean and efficient way of generating electricity from hydrogen. However, platinum is a scarce and expensive resource, and its price has been affected by various factors, such as supply disruptions, geopolitical tensions and environmental regulations. One of the factors that has recently impacted the platinum market is the global chip shortage which has forced many automakers to cut production of vehicles containing platinum and other metals. According to a Reuters poll, analysts and traders have sharply lowered their price forecasts for platinum and palladium, another metal used in catalytic converters, after the chip shortage worsened over the summer and is expected to continue through next year. This situation may seem like a challenge for car manufacturers, but it can also be an opportunity to boost their profits by increasing their efficiency, innovation, and customer loyalty. Here are some ways how, efficiency, car manufacturers can improve their efficiency by optimizing their use of platinum and other metals in their vehicles. They can do this by reducing the amount of metal needed per vehicle, by recycling or reusing metal from old or damaged vehicles, or by switching to alternative materials that are cheaper or more abundant. For example, some car makers have been using palladium instead of platinum in some of their catalytic converters, as palladium is cheaper and more available. However, palladium prices have also been volatile and affected by the chip shortage, so car makers may need to explore other options as well. Innovation Car manufacturers can also innovate by developing new technologies that use less or no platinum at all. For example, they can invest in electric vehicles, EVs, or hybrid vehicles that have lower emissions and do not require catalytic converters. They can also invest in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, FCVs, that use platinum in their fuel cells, but in smaller amounts than catalytic converters. According to one analyst, platinum has a promising outlook for FCVs, especially heavy-duty vehicles, as they are getting more political backing and support. 
By innovating and diversifying their product portfolio, car makers can reduce their dependence on platinum and other metals and gain a competitive edge in the market. Customer loyalty. Car manufacturers can also benefit from higher platinum prices by increasing their customer loyalty. They can do this by offering incentives or discounts to customers who buy or lease vehicles that use less or no platinum, such as EVs or FCVs. They can also offer services or programs that help customers reduce their environmental impact, such as recycling or trading in their old vehicles for newer ones. By doing this, car makers can attract and retain customers who are environmentally conscious and value sustainability. In conclusion, higher platinum prices may pose some challenges for car manufacturers, but they can also create some opportunities to boost their profits by increasing their efficiency innovation and customer loyalty. By adapting to the changing market conditions and consumer preferences, car makers can turn a potential threat into a competitive advantage.